There's a bug. There's a bug. Come on. Come on, motherfucker. Come on, motherfucker. Come on, let's go. Come on. Oh. You better fucking stay there. Hey guys, welcome back to We Watch the Movie. I'm Mike and I'm here to review The Green Inferno, the movie that was supposed to come out forever ago that got lost in development hell, uh, directed by Eli Roth. I don't know if, what, if Eli Roth was sitting on the tool as a five-year-old uh, with uh, Halloween on in the background while reading a copy of Travel Weekly, but his thing is just travel horror. Aftershock, Hostel, now this. And this movie, it's a satirical take. It's a, it's a big fuck you to the activists who cry and say they're offended about everything and sit around and kumbaya and play guitar and never actually give a shit but half of the guys are just doing it to get laid and most of them are full of shit and you know exactly who he's talking about in this movie but he takes a group of these people these annoying fuckers he puts them on a plane uh, he makes the plane crash they're going to save this indigenous tribe these people that are going to be bulldozing the woods and they're going to chain themselves to these trees and stream it so that everybody can see them and see that they stopped it when their plane crashes and said indigenous tribe starts to fucking eat people I have a weird relationship with Eli Ross movies you know uh Cabin Fever, one of my favorite horror films of all time. I think it played that perfect line of, oh, this is fucking gross. This shit's hilarious. This shit's dumb. This shit's actually scary for a second. This shit's hilarious and dumb again. I thought Aftershock sucked ass. I thought Hostel was fun and it, it, it just brought the whole torture porn to everybody's face for a little bit there. And I thought Hostel 2 was too much. Uh, I have a weird line. I'm never offended by it, but sometimes I'm like, I just don't want that. Because he seems to have this, and it, sometimes it's really fun and really cool, and I really appreciate it, specifically in this movie, a really punk rock element to filmmaking. Like, sometimes it's like, I'm just gonna do, I'm gonna have someone have to take a shit right here, and make it really embarrassing for them. Or I'm gonna make, I'm gonna put somebody through something just so fucking mean, it'll make people almost not want to watch. Uh, I'm gonna do mean shit to people, just to watch you squirm, because uh, I don't give a shit. Sometimes that works out, sometimes it comes off as a little bit tacky in other movies, and sometimes he really knocks it out of the park. With Green Inferno, for the most part, he knocks it out of the park again. I like this movie a lot. I think the, the idea to take a bunch of assholes and have a bunch of shit happen to them in a horror movie to say what you want to uh, um, uh, about something that gets on your nerves in this PC, politically correct, everybody's offended world that we live in was fucking cool. And I love that idea. And I thought it was a great, perfect idea for the time. This girl, she's going because she thinks this guy's cute or whatever, but she also kind of wants to help. She's not as full of shit as the rest of them. And she's goddamn gorgeous, the actress is. Um, she's also gonna be in Eli Ross Knock Knock with Keanu Reeves coming out. Like, her friends that are supposed to be, like, the normal people who are, like, done with that shit are kinda too much a little bit. They're like the roommates from the Butterfly Effect. You know, they're like, this is fucking bullshit. Activism's so gay. And it's the way too much on the other side of the fence. Like, sometimes it's just not very couth. If that's the fucking word I'm looking for. There's more with the asshole, who's a perfect just douche asshole that you just want to see bad shit happen to. Uh, it becomes a little bit too asshole-ish, you know? It's like nobody would be that big of an asshole. Like, he's like hurting himself just to be a dickhead to others. There's one scene in particular where things get kind of... It gets a little bit jokey for a second, and I'm thinking, I really don't want that out of this movie. You were fucking scaring the shit out of me for a second there. I was squirming in my seat. Don't, 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 don't. Puss out now and, and go funny. Uh, and they didn't. They went right back to it. It wasn't too much. It worked out fine. Uh, other than that, the great shit about this movie is that there's a couple gore scenes that will take you back that you did not see coming that are just like, oh, fuck. I went by myself to see this movie because uh, Jay shit out on me. I went by myself to see this fucking movie and I'm sitting in the, like one of the front rows with all these people behind me and a couple times like, uh, a scene, and it wasn't a jump scare, it was just something that was just fucking blunt force, like, really fast, and I was like, oh, shit, and it would make me jump up, and it was messed up. This is an event horror movie to go see, you guys. If you're out, part and you want to do something crazy, you want to do something weird, I don't know, this is a movie to go see if you just want to be shocked a little bit. Because there's scenes in this where you're like, no, fucking shit, it's so gross, it's so gross, and it doesn't go cannibal holocaust gross. There's one scene in particular, face fuck, digging, gah. Bleh. And, uh, jindles. That's all I'm gonna say, but there's some nasty ass shit that happens in this movie. Uh, and, and, and it's event, it's, it's event horror. It's a movie that you go to and you're like, oh yeah, this is gonna be fucking crazy. And you know it's going to, and it delivers on a lot of those aspects. Scary as a movie if you put yourself in those shoes. At some point it gets so bad for this group of people that when you try to put yourself in their shoes and you're like, 
God, if I was in that position right now, you don't want to think about it. You just, you take, you're like, nope, watch the fucking movie. Is it the scariest movie? No. Uh, because it's so crazy and over the top and intense, but to think about it, to put yourself in their shoes, these people have the fucking worst deaths of all time ever. Some of them got what was coming to them as movie characters. I wouldn't say that anybody deserves that in real life, but do that with a movie? Yeah, those characters get what you want, and Eli Roth does not hold back from it, and it's really fucking cool. So yeah, I give Green Inferno a 7.5. Good job, Eli Roth. I had fun with this movie. Not one that I'm gonna fucking just watch on at 10 o'clock at night by myself for a good time while I'm taking a fucking bubble bath, um, but it's, it's, you know what this movie's supposed to be, it's exactly what it's supposed to be. What do you guys think about Eli Roth's career as a whole? Um, how do you feel about his movies of the past? How do you feel about this? Comment below, let me know what your all's thoughts are. I love your faces, follow us at We Watch The Movie on Twitter, and if you're new to the channel, click that subscribe button and get some wham up in ya. We watch the movie. Yeah. We watch the movie.